So, smiters, dudes and dudettes, results are in. Now, pretty much everyone went for one side of the scale, so I think one or two people say complain about the farm, and then 28 other people either went for flirt or make a joke. Now, the results were 18-10, and unfortunately for the people that did want to end up with this woman, the results ended up with more flirting than making a joke. So, we have to make ourselves look like a royal prick, which I shall enjoy doing. It's, um... <clears throat> It'll be our uh, first part of uh, our first road to redemption with Steve. Just have absolutely no chance with her, so we have to actually be nice to someone else. All right, I just want to smite him. All right, flirt it is. Isn't it obvious I needed to hear your voice? I can't keep you out of my mind, Dave. I... That's rather abrupt. That that is definitely a direct way of flirting. You do remember that we're not dating anymore, right? Ouch, denied. <laughs> yeah, like that was ever going to go well. Hey, it was worth a shot. So, how's life on the farm? Um, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> if I do everything, will she like me more? Huh. Talk about Uncle. Uncle Sam is an odd guy. He doesn't get mad like Pops does, but when he wants something done, there's no reasoning with him. And he's always got that cat hanging around. It's weird. Oh, he has... He has cat. It did say that, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, he has cat? You're not Polish. Um, yes, he has cat. He has a girl cat, but it's named Orpheus. That's a nice name. I... that seems sarcastic. I don't know, that seemed kind of weird to me. Why would you give a girl cat a guy's name? Maybe he just likes Greek mythology. Maybe, but if that's the case, why not name her Eurydice? Oh, come on! You're the stupidest person in the whole school, Steve. You do not know who Eurydice is. Shit. I knew that would happen. Wow, I didn't realise you knew Greek mythology that well. I pay attention in class once a while, you know. Do it more often and you might have something going for you. <laughs> yeah. Like knowledge of a culture would cease to be 2,000 years ago. Well, not quite that long, but... You know, right, okay, before we get any sort of, like, hire with her, we're just gonna stop. they are like, oh, hell nah. Hell nah. I wish I could talk longer, but it's getting pretty late. I understand you've had a hard day after all. <laughs> Quite light outside, I must say. <laughs> oh, well, it is only 6pm or something. I'll call again sometime, okay? Sure. I hang up and let out a long sigh before dragging myself up to my bedroom. I crawl in my into my rock hard bed and roll over trying to get comfortable. I don't know what time it is. I think it I'm just trying to think it's about seven, isn't it? We finished about oh, fine, that's we'll soon find out. Talking with Jill was great, but it makes me miss home even more. Uncle said that I was one, that once I finished weeding that patch of land, I could use the truck. I could use the truck to get out of this place. I don't know where I'll go, but anywhere is better than here. All I have to do is hang out for a few more days and I can get away. A few more days? Should be better than that. I fall asleep quickly, pleased with my escape plan. Morning comes too soon and Uncle isn't about to let me sleep for a damn straight he's not. You get up there, Uncle. You turn the lights on. You oh, wait, hang on. No, you don't do that. You pull the curtains onward from one... No, that's not it. Aside. We'll just, you know, aside. You undraw the curtains and let the light put on us! And all that good stuff. Once again, I'm greeted by piercing sunlight streaming through the windows. I should really get an alarm so this doesn't happen. Time to wake up. I rub my eyes and roll across the rock I call my bed. Rocky. Oh, named my bed already. Right, my escape plan. I do my best to put on a good face for Uncle. Good morning, Uncle. This is your second day here. Well, I mean, third, but second day of waking up. Your second day here. I'm not sure he's going to fall for false optimism. Also, just saying, not an escape plan. You plan to do work, and by doing work, get occasional time off. That's not an escape plan. I, I, I don't know how to tell you this, Steve, but it, it doesn't work that way. It's like trying to figure out how to get out of cross-country during school by just doing cross-country. It doesn't work that way. Good morning. Uncle Sam eyes me with a bit of suspicion, but he doesn't comment on my cheerful attitude. You should. I'm not this happy because I've woken up with joy in my heart. I'm being evil. Breakfast will be ready soon. Sounds great. Do you want me to chop wood again? 
I'd rather you didn't. You're prone to hurt yourself. <laughs> All right. If you showed me how to do it, we wouldn't have this problem. He reaches and strokes Orpheus's head. Is that cat always, like, on his shoulders? That's weird. Just get some food and water for Orpheus, okay? Sure thing. Uncle looks at me quizzically, but he leaves without saying anything. Wait, hang on. If I have to get food and water for Orpheus, does that mean the cat has to leave his side? Oh, God. Perish the thought, I say. Perish the thought. As he walks down the stairs, Orpheus leaps lightly off his shoulders and scrambles up the steps back to my bedside. She looks up at me with large expectant eyes. Hey, cat. It, 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 it has a name. Even if you don't like it, it still has a name. Orpheus meows softly and rubs her head against the, my bed sheets. You're expecting your meal, huh? Yep. Yep, pretty much. I stretch my arms and wince at the sudden pain. Ow. My body is so stiff. Oh god, we've got more wind to do. We're so fucked. Yesterday's work must have been harder than I thought. Yeah, probably. I can barely lift my arms above my head and my back feels like it's carrying a thousand bricks. I, if it was carrying a thousand bricks, you wouldn't have much of a spine anymore. It would have cracked a long time ago. <laughs> Orpheus meows again, pawing at the side of my bed impatiently. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I roll out of bed with a groan. This is going to be a long day. Uh, I mean, you're working now. Every day is going to be a long day unless you start to enjoy it. I stumble into the kitchen and dig around the cupboards looking for Orpheus's food. I finally find a cloth bag and a high shelf with Orpheus stitched into the side. Is that its sleeping bag or is there food in there? Imagine that a cat with a sleeping bag. I wonder if it'd have like the dog syndrome. I have a box on my head so I need to run around and woof like crazy. Well, I've had the idea now. I may as well try it. No, I'm not, I'm not going to try that. I pull it from the cupboard and peer inside. It's filled with some odd lumps that look like miniature cookies. Miniature cookies? Miniature cookies? Cookie? I want fucking miniature cookies. I don't want fucking bacon and scrambled egg and all those things you cooked for me yesterday. I want miniature cookies. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Just make them chocolate chip. I accept nothing more than chocolate chip. Is this yours? Orpheus responds by winding, my winding, my winding herself around my legs a couple of times. <clears throat> Guess so. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you see a bag with Orpheus on it. You sit there for a second and you're like, hmm... Is this yours? I'm unsure. This this could be anything. In fact, this could be my food. <laughs> Dear. I dump a handful of the lumps into the bowl near the door. <clears throat> Orpheus scampers over to it and begins to scarf down the food. Scarf down the food? You mean it keeps putting it around its neck to prevent coldness? Like, what? Well, whatever. Also, have I pointed this out before? Is that a conservatory they have outside? <laughs> Bastards! <coughs> Fucking high life here. I see how it is. Food is more important to you than I am, huh? Yep, that's how animals work. I'm sorry. She doesn't bother to look up from her meal. Yeah. Thank you for feeding Orpheus. You're welcome. I wasn't given much of a choice in the matter. Anytime. Uncle raises an eyebrow at me. Either way, it's time for breakfast now. You can at least eat. Well, I suppose you did say thank you. Ah, well, ignore that then. Today's breakfast is oatmeal with honey, but it's thick and rich, nothing like the microwavable stuff I'm used to having. Use microwave? Porridge, really? Uh, sorry, oatmeal with honey. Come on, that's porridge. <laughs> this is really good. I'm glad you think so. The honey is from Susanna's store. Susanna... Here he goes, name dropping. This is one of the many bitches I know. <laughs> She owns a flower shop in town, but she does much more than just sell flowers. I'm sorry? Is she cute? I'll let you be the judge of that. I... Hmm. Huh? I need some more seedlings, so you'll have to go into town to get some. Like, right now? After you're done with breakfast, you can take the truck into town. So much for having an escape plan! Like... <laughs> fucking rolled off! Ugh, whatever. I thought she said I couldn't use the truck until I cleared out the weeds. It's just a quick errand. Be careful not to get lost or go too far, though. There's not much gas left in it. He smiles at me pointedly. Me get lost like that would happen. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Of course not. Can this guy read my mind or something? Yes. Uh, 
If he can read my mind, I must stop thinking of the dirty thoughts I'm clearly thinking of, because Christ. I... <laughs> you know, Grand Car got wood and such. Mm. You can count on me. Well, there goes my escape plan, at least for now. The truck rumbles along the uneven road slowly, the gas needle hovering precariously above empty. Am I just going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere now? And some kind, sexy young woman with barely any clothing on comes and washes it? It'll be like a Super Bowl advert! You guys just still do that, right? I think so. Uncle said that it's only four miles into town, so that shouldn't be a problem. As I drive along the narrow road, I notice a girl up ahead jogging alongside the dirt pack lane. <laughs> oh, God. As I get closer, I get a better view of her legs. Dang, those are nice. And her face? Cute. Definitely cute. Ah, what am I thinking? Staring at girls has already got me into enough trouble, and here I am doing it again. BAM! Repentance! See? The smiting we're doing to Steve is, like, kind of working. Fuck Thatcher and someone. Still, I couldn't hurt, but at least to introduce myself, I slow down as I approach her. Hey there! Um, do I know you? Oh good, okay, so we have an angry one! <laughs> well, no. Alright then. She turns away from me and returns to her jog. Hey, wait! What? Again, her eyes are really, like, large and far away from one another. <laughs> I suppose this is because the nose isn't a proper, like, nose which goes down like that. It's more of a, a little line here, so there's a fucking ga- I mean, come on, you could fly a fucking jumbo jet through that. Christ. What? My name is Steve, I'm new here. Well, welcome to Nowheresville, Steve. Your life is officially at a dead end. Can I go now? Oh no, I'm not living here, just visiting for the summer. I live in LA. Los Angeles? It's nice to meet you, Stan. Stan. Oh, hang on. She's all rude, but then suddenly she knows who I am. Granted, she can't remember my name properly. And now she's really nice? Is this just because I'm from Los Angeles and she wants to take me there because she's an aspiring actor or something? I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and call it now. Steve. Oh, right, Steve. I'm Clara. It's nice to meet you. Wow, talk about change of heart. This girl is seriously bipolar or something. Yes, that's how bipolar works. <laughs> it's, uh, it's more random than that. It's not changed by a fact. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So what brings you to the middle of nowhere? Are you being punished or something? Have I already introduced myself? Yes, I have. So it is, it's just because I'm from LA and suddenly she's fucking fine. <sighs> Whatever. Are you being punished or something? Actually, yeah. Oh. Well, bummer. This place is really the dumps, isn't it? I agree with her, say so it's not that bad. Um... Come on, like, we, we're, we're leading Steve onto the road of repentance. Say it's not that bad. Eh, it's not that bad. Are you kidding? I can't stand this place. It's like a million miles away from civilization and there isn't anything even to do here. The worst part is the fact my dad somehow got into his head that I'm going to stick around and take over his farm or something. Your dad owns a farm around it? Look around you, Steve. Everyone owns a farm around here. Yeah, it's the one my old ma by old man Sam's farm. Oh yeah, I guess that makes us neighbours. Neighbours, huh? Well then, I guess I'll see you around, neighbour. Oh, neighbour is spelt without a U. Do you realise how much I'm struggling not to pronounce it stupidly? You should be proud of me, guys. Living so soon? Yeah, gotta finish my jog, you know? Right, well, I'll see you later then. Probably. Clara turns and jogs off down a side path that branches off from the road. She wants me for something. And it's not my attractive face and body. I turn the key in the ignition and follow down the main road into town. Where are we? Rural Italy? This looks horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this isn't rural Italy. This is like Borat town. I mean, the windows, it looks desolate. Christ. Fucking Alcatraz. The truck rumbles slowly into town and I scan the buildings. Well, there really isn't much here, is there? Well, no, no, there isn't. I rub my head a little bit. The bumpy ride here has just left me a little nauseated. Oh, so it's nice here where the flower shop is. Fuck the rest of the town and renovating that. Nope. Only the flower shop is good enough for us. As I walk in, I'm overwhelmed by the fragment, the fragrant smell of flowers. Ugh. The sweet smell isn't doing much to help my nausea. Hello? 
Welcome! Yeah, you do seem like the kind of person who'd, uh, work in a flower shop. What is happening to the end of your hair? It's actually springs. If she doesn't, like, get around by pogo stick, I'm hugely disappointed. <laughs> 